In a Creo parametric drawing, you can change the order of your drawing sheets. In this video, we will take a look at three different ways of reordering your sheets and one way of bringing in the sheets from another drawing. Here I have a drawing open. It's a drawing of an assembly and it has four different sheets. I'm currently looking at the first sheet. Let's say that I go to the tabs at the bottom of the page to switch over to the second sheet. I decide that I want to have this sheet as the first sheet of the drawing. One way to rearrange the order is to drag that tab where you want it to appear. So I will left click and hold on it. And as I move my mouse over to the left, you can see a marker of where the sheet would currently be dropped. Let me move a little more to the left. Now it is all the way to the first sheet. I will let go. And this is now the first sheet of my drawing. If I zoom in to the title block, it has changed the sheet number, but changing the order of the sheets does not change the format of the sheet itself. If you want to update this to the sheet one format, well, let me go to that tab down at the bottom, and then I can right click and hold on that tab. Here we have a pop-up menu, and the top choice is setup. This is the same command as the sheet setup command in the upper left hand corner of the interface. I will click on it and this brings open a dialog box and it is showing the current sheet format for the sheet. I can click on that and then go to the drop down list. Here is sheet one of that format. I will click on it and then choose OK. And it has updated to the sheet one title block, page one title block of my format. So you can drag and drop the tabs. That is the first method. The second method is that you can select a tab. For example, here I decide that I want to reorder the section A sheet. I can right mouse click and hold on it. Here we have a move or copy command. I will click on it and it opens up the move or copy sheet dialog box. And it is very similar to the dialog box in Microsoft Excel when you are rearranging sheets. I can choose what sheet I want to insert this after. If I leave the default selection highlighted, then it will make this the last sheet. There is a create a copy option. I will show that in a moment. Let me click the OK button. And now it has reordered this to be sheet four of four. For the third and final method, let me go to the upper left hand corner of the screen. Here in the document group on the layout tab, we can choose to move or copy sheets. In this case, I will create a copy of the sheet and I want to move this copy as the third sheet in the drawing. So then I have selected the second sheet. I will click the OK button and now I have a new sheet five, which is actually the second sheet. If I want to reorder this, I can, or rename it, I can right click on the tab and choose rename. And I will just call this my section A copy, just so it is a little more intuitive as to what it is. So when you move or copy sheets, well, in, if you do this in Microsoft Excel, there is another choice if you want to move or copy to a different workbook, but you don't have that choice in Creo Parametric. Let's say that I want to bring in a drawing from, or excuse me, bring in sheets from a no another drawing. Let me go to a another drawing. This is a single sheet drawing. If I want to bring this into the other drawing, well, let me go to the other drawing, the original drawing that I was using. In the insert group on the layout tab, we have an import drawing data command. When I click on that, it will show the different drawings in my working directory. That was the transmission case drawing. I will click the open. Now we have a new sheet over here. It has the label sheet one because that is what it was called in the other drawing. I can right click on it and rename it. Let me call this the transmission case and then hit the enter key. And this one is using the same format that it had in the other drawing. So like before, I can right click on the tab and then choose to uh, click on the 
setup command and then click on the drop down list and change this to the sheet two format. I will choose to remove all of the existing tables. Yes, I'm going to remove the highlighted tables. And that way I now have the correct format showing on the imported sheet from the other drawing. So there you have it, three different ways to rearrange the order of your sheets and how to bring in sheets from a different drawing.